Hello, welcome to Quantum Guruji. So today in this video, we are going to learn how to make the AA, AB and ABC kind of stack in the Metal Studio because I was getting lots of uh, messages and email from users that how to design stacked structure because see, you know, in the graphite, we are having the stacking, right? AB, AB kind of stacking is there. So similarly, in the material science, when we study the stacked structure, so the designing process will be a bit different, slightly different. Okay, if you have not seen my uh, earlier videos how to design a nano sheet, then please go to in the description box. I will send you the link, and you can follow that video for how to design a nano sheet. Because we'll be using that as a reference, and that is the just basic how to design a nano sheet, and then we'll further go for the designing this AA or AB, ABC, or whatever stacking, different kind of stacking. We'll be using that. Okay, so first what we'll do is. You want stack structure, okay? Stacking means suppose you are having a two-dimensional nano sheet. One above you also want another nano sheet, right? Right now it is this guy and this guy. Both are different. So this is A, this is B. Both are different types. So this is known as A B A B stacking, right? Suppose same this thing is coming above here, so it will be A B A B stacking, right? Because this A will be repeating after this one A B and then again A. B, it will go this. So this is known as ABAB kind of stacking. Suppose this this itself is repeating like this. So this is AA stacking, right? Similarly, if you are having A, B, and again there is another form, so it will be ABC, different kinds of stacking. Generally, when we design a stack structure, we like uh, give the interaction distance. Generally, if you are designing two dimensional nano CT in a metal studio, we try to keep the layers between two dimensions, like uh, layers the distance between two layers uh, more than 10 angstrom so that there is no interaction between them okay that is the usual uh, way to do it uh, in case of stack structure you don't have to do that okay because you need to keep them in the interacting uh, like interaction so that there is interaction and there will be some kind of different kind of interactions depending on material uh, it can be weak pi pi it can be weak vulnerable interaction it can be various things so Generally, if you are designing a, a like stack structure, keep the distance around to 3.5 angstrom. Okay, okay. So let's get started. Uh, first, I'll design a graphene nano sheet. Okay, just for basic. If you know how to design this, then fine. Otherwise, you go to my previous videos. Uh, I'll put the link in the description box how to design that. Okay. Now go to the crystal. Build crystal. Uh, I'll make 2.4. Same here, and I'll keep some non interacting distance. Uh, see, yeah, so in the third dimension, right now I'm just designing graphene nano sheet, two dimensional nano sheet. Okay, so I will take just uh, 15 angstrom, and that crystallographic axis is 90, 90, and 124 graphene. Okay, so now our lattice is there. Now we need to add elements. Okay, so go to the add atoms so we'll add atom the carbon at 0.666 and not not three and other way around okay so our nano sheet is ready right and the third dimension I will remove so that Okay, so this is our graphene nano sheet with P6 mm symmetry. Fine. Now this is the two-dimensional lattice, right? Why I'm saying this two-dimensional because if you increase this in the uh, uh, in the third dimension, so the, the distance between these layers is I have given as 15 angstrom. If you can see it from here, 15 angstrom. That the distance between these two layers. If you want to see, you can click this atom and this atom. You can see 15 angstrom, right? So the distance between these two layers are 15 angstrom. So this is the two-dimensional lattice. Now suppose you want to make AA stacking. Fine. Means this layer you need to keep in the interacting distance. Roughly around 3.3 .3 or 3.4 angstrom. So what you will do, first we will do is, see right now if suppose using this uh, movement tool, if you are making it down, this guy will also going down because they both are equivalent. So the first step is while designing this kind of stack structure is, go to the build menu and symmetry and make it. Uh, 
first you have to make super cell because these guys are equivalent so make at least in third dimension also you increase make one super cell okay now you can see this super cell again i will tell you how to do this because you guys will be confused so this is how many unit cell you are having 2 into 2 unit cell right 2 into 2 you can take 1 into 1 no problem huh? so i have taken 2 into 2 lattice and go to the build menu now go to the symmetry make it super cell and in third dimension you want we want one more or if you are confused again i will tell you from here go to the display style increase the lattice in this direction okay now first you design this lattice after that what you do is go to the mm, yeah this is the it, uh, one way and here what you can do is uh, go to the build menu symmetry and go to the supercell and make a supercell of this fine any doubt okay so right now you are having the structure A, this is also structure A and this is also structure A, same thing, right, which is repeating. Now, this distance between these two layers are used, 15, 15 angstrom, 30 angstrom. So, what I will do is, in the build menu, I will decrease the distance between these two layers. I will make it, uh, how much, 8 angstrom over here. Oh, they are coming closer. Okay. make it 20 then I'll make it 20 okay now this layer I will make it little down and again I'll go to the crystal lattice and make it instead of 20 I will go with first I will go to 12 Ah, again machine okay so instead of you go to the 15 no problem at all again I will make it down <coughs> and in the wheel menu again I will make it a little more closer instead of 15 I will see 10 I will check it out Okay, fine. So this time, perfectly, we are having the 10 angstrom distance. I will keep in the center, fine. And go to the symmetry impose, find symmetry and yeah? impose symmetry, fine. Now see, you are having a two lattice. Okay, and the distance between these two lattice, I will tell. But suppose we want little more closer, right? So that there is an interacting distance. If you want to see the distance between two layers. This layer and this layer is 3.2 angstrom, right? But generally in graphite, because this is stacked structure, the interactive distance is 3.3 around. So now it is 3.7. You can okay. So this is the AA stacked structure. If you want to see, see both are overlapping on each other, right? So this is the AA stacking structure, right? And it out. Now we go to the display style and just increase this lattice and see the how it is repeating. So this is AA stacking, okay. And again, there is a huge distance here, right? The distance between this and this is huge. So you need to decrease this. You need to make it even, okay. <clears throat> how we can do that is uh, uh, the distance uh, decrease to the wheel menu and. This video may be a little longer, but more informative. So, okay, I'll decrease it to 8. We'll see. Oh, okay. <coughs> 8 is a very bad idea. Okay. So, from the test parameter itself, we'll try to decrease it. Make it 
five and this will like take it a little off point five and we'll go to the gate. Fine. Instead of eight, I'll go to seven point five for that. Okay. So now it is perfectly okay. So we have P6 mm symmetry and as you can see the distance between these layers are perfect. Now this is the AA stack structure. See there are other ways of doing this uh, AA stacking right. Why I have done this way because I want to show you the AB stacking. Other way if you are doing I cannot show you because uh, right now this see this and this is equivalent right. But we are having all of these layers are equivalent. Okay fine over first will make it just one lattice okay so this is your AA kind of stacking right suppose you want to have a AB stacking means this layer will be like this and this layer will be having bit difference in yes, slight you know uh, slipping will be there how to do that go to the uh, build menu symmetry first make it P1 once you make it P1 this layer will be not equivalent to each other okay now you can move this layer wherever you want okay suppose you want uh, a b stacking in this way staggered way or whatever way you say suppose you want this kind of a b stacking fine now again go to this symmetry and impose the symmetry fine once you impose the symmetry you are having this lattice right if you see clearly from here you see a b stacking you can see upper layer is different and down layer is different right and if again you repeat it in the third dimension so that you can see how it is repeating in the third dimension you see the third dimension also is this layer i will color it first see that this layer uh, yeah this layer and this layer this layer both are same a right and this is B. So this is A, B, A, B kind of stacking. Fine. Any doubt over here? Okay. Now suppose you want A, B, C stacking. What you do? In the same thing. Okay. What you can do is you can make a go to the build. A stacking I have already shown you and I will tell you one very quickest and the easiest way also. Okay. Don't worry. Now you have seen the A, B stacking. Now we will go to the A, B, C stacking. First go to the symmetry. See whenever you want to do any kind of stacking or you want to do any changes in the lattice first you make p1 okay now this is a b a b right now you want first we'll make the supercell of it so this is a b a and b but you want to have a c lattice so i will slip this slightly in whatever direction you tell i will make it a little bit If I'm keeping this guy over here, so this will be different, right? So this is this is A, B, C, and this is kind of B. So I'll delete this B because we need A, B, C, right? So I'll delete this. Once I have deleted it, uh, now this like this I will keep in the little more center. Okay, now go to the symmetry option and impose the symmetry. Okay. Now, if you can see, see this is A, this is B layer and this is C layer. So, all of these layers are of different type. This is the, in the one unit cell. Fine. I have taken two into two lattice. And that is not going to... Okay. So, this is the ABC kind of stacking. Fine. Okay. Any doubt? If you have any doubt here, you can put in the comments. Fine. Okay. So in this way, you can do the A B and A B stacking. I'll tell you the easiest way of doing this A B stacking. Fine. Okay. Okay. So right now, what I'll do is first I want to make one uh, two dimensional lattice. So first I will make P one and I'll delete all these things. I will take only just one layer. layer and I'll get the P six mm lattice. Fine. I will check the third dimension what is the distance between layer is 15 angstrom fine see 
you want to have a AA stack structure so what is very simple no rocket science go to the rebuild menu and there in the lattice parameters you keep the layers in a you know interacting distance I will put this 3.5 angstrom whatever you put see now you are having this is the AA stacking there is no rocket science here very easiest way of doing this AA stacking but in this way you cannot do the AB stacking that's why I have taken that way but this is AA stack structure fine any doubt over here okay suppose in this structure if you want to have AB stacking then you take this uh, in the third dimension you increase one lattice and go to the build menu make the super cell okay and after making super cell displace this second one because see now it is AA lattice now you want to have the AB lattice move this lattice and once you have done this go to this symmetry impose find symmetry and here you go this is the a, a like a b stack structure of this graphene easiest way okay uniform distances are there and see fine so this is a b a b kind of lattice so this way also you can do Okay, if you have any doubt in doing this kind of stacking structure, see, I have taken graphene just as a reference. You can take any nano sheet uh, because, see, uh, whatever nano sheet you are going to take, it will be same. It's, the procedure is going to be same or the similar. It is not going to change. Apply the same procedure and you will get your structure. Thank you for watching the videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.